Hello, I'm Tim DeNoble. I'm Dean of the College of Architecture, Planning and Design. Today I'm going to talk about sketching. Uh, it's one of the most important things we do in the design profession. Um, I, uh, I love to sketch. I think it was a certain point when I realized that I needed to do it more often to, to get better at it and, uh, and, and realized that uh, uh, that was the best way I could communicate with myself uh, with my clients, with the people that build the work that I'm involved in, and with the people that I uh, employ. And it's a, as I say, communication with myself is perhaps the most important part because it's the way I record ideas um, and record the world around me. And so uh, with that, I, I, I think at a certain point I just pledged to start sketching every free moment I had. Um, in a lot of ways, some people might call it doodling, that sort of thing. I always consider doodling kind of fun, but sketching without a purpose, and generally I do have a purpose. I often say there's really no bad sketch. There are ugly sketches, and I'll show you some examples. In fact, I might, I might uh, actually create one right here. Uh, but I'll show you some examples of really great uh, architects and designers um, that have what you might look at and say, wow, that's not a very good looking sketch. But that doesn't mean it's not meaningful, that it's not full of ideas. Um, and in that way, it is a good sketch, not necessarily pretty to look at. You have to practice. Uh, you, you've always heard that uh, you, know, you never forget how to ride a bike. Well, you never forget how to sketch, but you ride a bike a lot straighter when you've been doing it a while, and as you sketch, you, you, you simply get better at sketching uh, when you do it more often. Unfortunately, in my role as Dean, I don't get to sketch as much as I used to, um, so I'm probably a little out of tune. Uh, but I do uh, pretty much always carry a sketchbook with me and try to record ideas. I think the other thing about sketching is you can, you can capture multiple viewpoints. So, you know, uh, a, a camera is a kind of one viewpoint, and of course you can go uh, many places. But um, with sketching, I can go up in the air, I can go under the ground, I can go inside of uh, buildings, um, that, frankly, you don't have x-ray on your camera, but I can do that uh, when I'm sketching. And in that way, I always like to say that sketching makes you omnipotent. You can be anywhere, everywhere, all at the same time. So some of the examples I might show you um, from sketching in place. This is, uh, this is a, a, a little church in, in Piazza in Italy, uh, Santa Maria della Pace. Um, this is a sketch done um, 15th of January, 03, I recorded that uh, on the bottom of it. But what it does, it shows multiple viewpoints of the church. Uh, one is an elevation um, seen here. Um, this is uh, the piazza itself, uh, the public space. Uh, this is a worm's eye view um, shot from underneath the church. Uh, and then this is a perspective view of the church uh, as seen down the street. And, the, and I think this touches on the point uh, that I was talking about that, that uh, you can be many places at once. And in fact, each of these drawings is more informed by the previous one. Even a detail here of the way the column relates to the wall. As you start to uh, build your uh, sketching skills, uh, and I think that's one of the first things you want to do. I want to, I want to talk about some things. One is I uh, really have a prohibition on using a rollerball pin. Now, why, why, you say? Because these are so common, and we use them to sign checks and all that other thing. They're really great, right? But let me just show you. With a rollerball, I can get one line weight. It's very hard unless I start trying to go real fast to get uh, various line weights. Whereas with a felt tip pen, I like to challenge myself to get multiple line weights. So I'll start with, and I'll start to bear down a little bit more. And maybe turn the pin a little bit more on its side. Now I'm feeling comfortable with it, so I come back up here and maybe get some of the fainter ones. Now, why is that important? Well, it's important because um, line weight shows depth. Um, those things that are closest to you generally have um, or are profiles of buildings or edges of, uh, of uh, you know, objects 
are um, in fact heavier lines. Whereas those things that are backgrounded by the building might be lighter lines or have less of a profile. And so now I can use line weight to get depth, all right? And that depth is so highly critical. So if you have your rollerball pins, give these to your parents to write checks for you to, you know, so you can uh, get all the materials you need and uh, get yourself some good felt tips. I like uh, a Pilot Razor Point. Um, I highly recommend that you avoid uh, Sharpies because over time, Sharpies bleed. A good old, as they call them, wood clench pencil is also a great tool to have. Um, I like uh, anything between, uh, say, HB um, to a, I believe this is a 2B, which is quite a bit darker, and then this one is the B. Now, I'll use one or the other, I never carry all three at the same time, so usually I'll have my, uh, say a B, works great. And again, when I'm doing lines, I can get a gradation of lines and use those for depth, right? Or profile, and I can turn the pencil on its side. These are things that you can take a page and literally just practice, practice horizontal lines. All right, and you can pr practice trying to make them all the same, which is important. And you can then start doing gradations, say on another page. You see how I'm rotating my pencil? That's called mending it, right? More and more rotation. Sounds boring, right? But you can do a couple of these pages in no time and now you have uh, a little bit more skill, uh, or I should say craft, Okay, and then you can start to work on acuity, which we'll talk about here in a minute. Now, one thing you also notice is that my lines are pretty shaky. I have had coffee today, but that's not why I'm shaky. Uh, well, it's only part of the reason I'm shaky. Um, I tend to purposely let my hand shake when I sketch because I think I can make a straighter, in a sense, I, if I, I don't necessarily make a straighter line, what I am doing is actually taking away the notion that a straight line even matters. You know, you always hear people say, well, I really wanted to go into architecture, but I couldn't draw a straight line. I can't draw a straight line unless I have a hard edge to draw against and I can draw a straight line. That's not important. The quality of the line and the line weight are important. So um, I want to tell you a few things not to do. Don't make lines like this. All right, I can't control very well the quality of a line when it looks hairy, okay? And that's a real common thing. Or don't make lines like this because they're not lines anymore. They become objects in a sense, right? Okay, make lines boldly. Put the pencil down and keep it going. And one of the things we tend to do, now I'm looking at a camera, so, I'm not even looking at what I'm doing down below. It's, I, I, I think a great exercise to do with yourself on yet another page, you think, see. Put the pencil down and don't pick it up and get used to doing that. It's called continuous line drawing. And we do those a lot of times. So you'll look at something, like I'll take students out in the field and say, you know what? Here, I picked it up, right? Game over. Uh, as I go out and see our 6,500 alumni across the, across the nation, um, what's the first thing they say to me? Are you still teaching your students how to sketch? Are they still learning the importance of being able to convey ideas with facility, with craft, and with acuity? And I hope that this little... Uh, little exercise helps in some way to advance um, your belief in the importance of sketching, but also in your willingness to take a chance and just start drawing. And uh, remember to revisit some of these uh, exercises as ways of uh, 
uh, building that. Um, they don't take long, uh, but it will help you, I think, to uh, be a better designer, a planner, and uh, better to communicate with all those across all the disciplines in our college. Thanks.